hello friends in this operating system class we will see the file access methods and there are three file access methods first one is sequential access direct access and the indexed access methods let us see all these things one by one in today's class before that uh, let us see what is file access method uh, we know file stores information that is a file which contains information and this information must be accessed and read into computer memory okay all these files will be stored in the uh, computer memory okay this is computer memory okay okay this information in the file can be accessed in several ways now i want to access this particular file uh, there are different methods to access this file some system provide only one access method and some system supports many access methods okay the different methods are sequential access direct access and indexed access methods the first one is sequential file access uh, this is the very simplest and most common access method uh, here the informations will be stored in order that is one record after another record okay for example this is the sequential file and in this sequential file the file will be loaded one after another okay one by one the the records will be ordered this is 0 1 2 3 4 like this and this is n okay n number of records will be stored in this sequential file um, example the editors and the compilers usually access the files in sequential fashion okay one after another and the reads and write operations are most common in sequential file let us see how these reads and write operations will be taken place first let us take this read operation see once we perform the read operation the file pointer will always point in the uh, beginning of the file BOF beginning of the file okay see once we, it reads the first record then it will read automatically next record that is read next read next means the file portion that is the next portion of file and automatically advances the file pointer okay the file pointer will be incremented by one automatically that is read next okay and when come to write operation the file pointer will automatically come to the end of file eof okay end of file and if any write up write taken place on the record and immediately that appends to the end of the file okay and advances to the end of the file newly written material that is the file pointer will be incremented into the new uh, end of file location okay this is n plus 1th location okay this is how the sequential uh, operations that is read operation and write operations will be taken place in the sequential file okay sequential file means all the records will be ordered one after another and the read operation or write operations will be taken place in the sequential manner and it it is not possible to read the record which is in the middle okay we if we want to read only this particular record this is not possible in this sequential uh, file access we have to uh, read all those records one by one then only we can reach this for example 50th record suppose i want to do a read operation then the file can be reset to the beginning of the file that is bof okay suppose if the current position is in between uh, that is middle of the file and i want to access some of the record means immediately the file positions will be rewinded into beginning of the file okay in some system the program may be able to skip forward or backward end records okay for example if the position is 50 then the uh, rewind will be taken place by n records for some integer perhaps only for n equal to 1 that is if n equal to 1 that is beginning of the file 
the file pointer should be rewinded to the beginning of the file ok. In sequential access is based on tape model that is magnetic tape model. Magnetic tape device is one of the best example for the sequential access that is sequential access of file and works as well as on sequential access devices ok. Magnetic tape model is the best method for sequential file access. Direct access this is the second model which is otherwise called as relative access ok. Here the file is made up of fixed length of logical records right. See here this is the file and the file contains the collection of records all the records should have equal size ok right ok and it allow programs to read and write records rapidly into in no particular order this is important right. Suppose I want to access the fifth record no need to uh, access the records from the beginning I can directly set the file pointer to fifth record and I can read the fifth record directly ok. The direct access method is based on disk model of your file and since disk allows random access to the file blocks and nowadays all uh, secondary storage devices supports this random access and for this direct access the file is viewed as numbered sequence of blocks or records ok. So, we have to give unique number for all the blocks or all the records ok. So, that we can read block 14 and we can read block 53 ok. There is no restriction to read uh, all the records sequentially which record we want we can directly uh, move to file pointer that location then we can directly read that particular record then immediately we can write block 7 ok this is also possible here. So, there is no restriction on the order of reading or writing of direct access file. Next uh, let us see the simulation of sequential access on the direct access file ok. The first uh, is the sequential access uh, the reset command is used to, to move the file pointer into beginning of the file ok. Here the current position equal to 0 when come to direct access we need to set the current position which is equal to 0. So, this will uh, set the current pointer into beginning of the file right. Uh, to read the next record here in the sequential access we can use read next, but when come to direct access the current position will be incremented by 1 to read the next record ok. And when come to write to write the next record here in the sequential access we can use write next command when come to direct access the current position will be incremented by 1 ok for writing also. Indexed access method in this file which contains a collection of blocks of records and uh, pointers are assigned to various blocks ok. By using this pointer we can access the corresponding record ok. To find the record in the file first we have to search the index and then use this pointer to access the file directly and to find the desired record ok. Here we are having a index file in this index file first the index is assigned to all the block this is the index and the corresponding pointer is there ok. Suppose I want to find a particular record then first I need to find this index which is the index here Smith is the index. Then by using this corresponding pointer I can access the record in this relative file ok. Relative file contains the original data original data or records ok. This is how we can access record by using the indexed access method. Suppose if uh, the file size is very large then index file itself will become too large to keep in memory ok. In that situation 
we have to create an index for this index file right index of index that is primary index file contains the pointers to secondary index file which points to the actual data item ok here this is primary index file this is primary index file which contains the index and pointer for secondary index file ok another index file is there secondary index file ok right ok this is the primary index and this point to the record in the secondary index file and this pointer is going to point to the original record right up to this we have seen the three different file access methods the first one is sequential second one is direct and third one is indexed access methods ok that will come under fourth unit and you can expect this from two mark question or five mark question right in the next class i will uh, give you another important topic from fourth unit thank you